Mr. D, kayaking wildlife photographer. Paddling Places, Florida finds us at Wakaiva Springs State Park. Located at the headwaters of Wakaiva River, the beautiful vistas within this park offer a glimpse of what Central Florida has to offer. Just one hour from most Florida attractions, Wakaiwa Springs offers visitors the opportunity to relax in a natural setting, enjoy a picnic, or take a swim in a cool spring. Thirteen miles of trails provide opportunities for hiking, bicycling, and horseback riding. Canoeists and kayakers can paddle along the Wakaiva River and Rock Springs Run. We did not do the Rock Springs Run in this event, but we'll be doing it in the near future. Canoe and kayak rentals are available from the park's concessionaire. Options for camping include full facility campgrounds and primitive camping areas. Now understand, this is a very popular park, particularly on summer weekends. The first thing I learned is the weekends get extremely crowded. To ensure entrance, it's recommended to arrive early. Otherwise, the parking area will be full and you may not be able to enter. The staff is friendly and very knowledgeable and the area is well maintained. Now there is a 200 yard jaunt to the launch ramp, so it's recommended if you have a kayak cart that you bring it. Many of the visitors that are canoeing and kayaking are novices or first timers, so they really don't understand river and lake courtesy. This is not a negative, just an observation. Wakaiva Island, just past the launch area for about a mile out, is where you can unwind with daily specials at the Tooting Otter Cafe Beer and Wine Bar, enjoy a bite to eat at the Without a Paddle Cafe, or shop for unique Floridian gifts and souvenirs at the general store. Once you paddle past the recreational charted area and get into the Wild River area, you're pretty much alone. It's very quiet and serene. But understand, you must be cognizant of your surroundings as this is a wild river and gators abound. We saw several gators on this paddle and other wildlife like otters, blue herons, and other bird life. The brochure that they produce and provide has the river charted and was very useful on this trip. As when you're in the wild river area, you can easily get turned around. From the launch area, the current is approximately three miles an hour, so you will start your paddling going downstream. So in planning your paddle, understand that you'll be paddling back upstream to the launch area. I will definitely be going back to do the Rock Springs run on my next trip, but it will definitely be during the week. Okay, so before we wrap it up, I'm just going to let you uh, look at the scenery and some of the paddling we did, and then we will get back to you and wrap this thing up. This state park offers many activities from swimming, picnicking, hiking, camping, and so on. My main interest was to paddle parts of the river, and you can definitely spend all day there. But understand, on the weekends, the crowds are huge. Mm -hmm. 